Hi, my name is Matt Duff. I'm an application engineer covering precision amplifiers, specifically instrumentation amplifiers. And today we're going to go over a real world example of how to calculate noise with an instrumentation amplifier circuit. This is something that comes up often with customers that I talk to about how to calculate noise and so I wanted to show you a real life example. So what I've drawn up here is a very standard instrumentation amp uh, amplifier circuit uh, with a bridge configuration. Now, the bridge resistances that I've used are quite a bit larger than you'll typically see in a normal bridge application, but I've made them bigger so that we can illustrate some concepts. But the actual idea of using an instrumentation amplifier with a bridge to measure pressure or an RTD or something like that uh, is very, very common. So you'll notice I've, I've started with 5 volts and, and ground on the bridge, but when we do a noise analysis, what we can do is we can get rid of, uh, we can turn any independent voltage sources into a ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that from 5 volts and I'm going to make that ground. Now you'll notice now that I have these two resistors are in parallel, so I've connected ground, ground, and it's going to this input. And I have these two resistors in parallel. So with these resistors, 250Ks in parallel equals 25 kilo ohms. So what we can do is we can go from this type of circuit to this circuit over here. Draw in my grounds. Now we can do a noise analysis on this circuit here. So when you do a noise analysis for an instrumentation amplifier, there are three things that you need to calculate. And this is not just for an instrumentation amplifier, but for any type of amplifier. You need to calculate the resistor noise, you need to calculate the voltage noise of the amplifier, and you need to calculate the current noise of the amplifier. So that's what we're going to do. So first we're going to cover resistor noise. Now remember, a one nanovolt, a one kilo ohm resistor has four nanovolts per root hertz of noise. And we can use this to figure out what the noise of these resistors are. So uh, if a one kilo ohm resistor has four nanovolts, we can take the square root of 25, and get five, and multiply that by four to figure out what the noise of these resistors are. So the noise of these resistors are 20 nanovolts per root hertz, 20, so we go through and we calculate with 20 and we get the total noise from our resistors is 28 nanovolts per root hertz. The next step that we want to calculate is the current noise of the instrumentation amplifier. So we go to the data sheet of the 8226 and we find out that the current noise going into the inputs of the 8226 is 100 femtoamps per root hertz. So 100 femtoamps per root hertz. So this 100 femtoamps multiplies by the 25 kilo ohms. So I've down here, I've shown this, I've put 0.1 because we're in femt, I want to convert femto to nano. So 0.1 times this 25, and you do the math, and you end up getting 3.5 nanovolts per hertz contribution from the current noise multiplied by the resistances. So now we've got the current noise. The next step is to calculate the voltage noise of the instrumentation amplifier. And instrumentation amplifiers are a little bit strange compared to, say, a standard op amp in that they typically have two noise specs. So they've got a noise spec at the output. So if we were to go to the data sheet, it would say that uh, our output noise, our ENO, is 120 nanovolts per root hertz. And our input noise over here is 22 nanovolts per root hertz. Now the funny thing about instrumentation amplifiers is this <clears throat> noise changes with the gain. So, or, or I guess when we're talking about input referred, this noise stays constant and this noise goes down with the gain. So what I've said in our circuit is we're going to use a gain of 10 for this instrumentation amplifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this 120 nanovolts per root hertz, we're going to divide by 10. So now we go down to our calculations. We show our voltage noise being 22. We show our, our input voltage noise being 22. Uh, this ENO being 12 because we divide by the gain. So now we have all of the noise characteristics that we need. 
So now finally what we do is we combine all the noises that we figured out, our resistors, current noise, and our two voltage noises. And I've done this in our equation down here. So we do the sum of squares. So when you're adding noise together, you always do the sum of squares. And we do the math, we end up getting 38 nanovolts per hertz. And that is how you calculate the noise of an instrumentation amplifier system. Thanks.